Great. Next up from Daniel L. What will Robinhood do to combat declining monthly active users? Sure. Uh, I'll, I'll take that one. So we have seen recent declines, but I think it's important to look at the broader context. Robinhood has grown very quickly over the last few years. For instance, if you look at monthly active users, over the past two years, we've, we've nearly doubled MAUs from 8.6 million to right around 15.9 million. So looking ahead, we're going to continue to innovate and roll out new products, and we see our customers engage with us in new ways. A good example is the recently rolled out uh, cash card, which we're, we're rolling out to our customers. I think it's a, it's a great way to have customers using us for more than just investing, direct depositing their paychecks into Robinhood, and using us for anything that they would use their local bank for, except with lower cost and a much better customer experience. So as, as we continue to add these new products, while also adding more products to investing and, and crypto, uh, we're confident in our ability to not only retain our existing customers, but significantly grow new ones over time. Great. Next up. Well, hey, YouTube. So today, guys, we're back here with another review. And this is a really, really interesting video I have for you. I have the privilege to ask the CEO of Robinhood, Mr. Vlad Tenev, a question during the most recent earnings call. I'll have the proof on screen if you don't believe me. This is for real, guys. My name is Daniel. That's my first name, and that was my last name. Well, the first letter of my last name. I'm not going to give you my full last name. Uh, but Daniel, well, that is my name, and the proof is on screen now. It says answer. It says your answer. Uh, anything you can think of that might make you skeptical of that this is actually me. I, I, you know, I'm trying to provide as much information as possible about this, but this is truly me asking a question. And if you guys watched my video last week about Robinhood, I was definitely concerned about the monthly active users. It was something I brought up, so it was really good to see not only what I, did I bring up in my video, but I actually was able to ask him a question. It was upvoted by the community. I had about 2 million shares represented overall, which I am flattered that people thought my question was pretty good. Um, yeah, I'm really happy to see that, guys. So anyway, let's get into the actual response in the earnings call of Robinhood. So Mr. Vlad Tenev, he was talking about the recent decline in monthly active users, and he brought up a good point. In the past couple of years, they have doubled their MAU, monthly active users, from 8.6 million to 15.9. That is a very impressive increase. And with interest rates at near 0%, um, it was able to grow so quickly because there was, there was no reason to not invest because you're, you're just losing money by putting it in savings accounts, CDs, high yield, all that stuff, you were, or bonds, you were making such little money. So it kind of made sense. But now with the market correcting itself over the past six months, the market has really corrected itself. It's no longer this bull market and all that stuff. So the market really has corrected itself. And because of that, that's why you see some of the decline in monthly active users. And that did persist in the most recent quarter. So he's talking about ways to, to improve the MAUs. He's talking about the, the Robinhood cash card. This is a debit card that offers credit card-like rewards. I don't think this will be as big of a business as he thinks it is, but I still think it's good to encourage people to use debit cards because in the end, debit cards are more secure than credit cards. You actually have to have the balance in your bank account, you know? So debit cards, if they can offer the rewards of a credit card. I don't see reason to ever use a credit card if debit cards are going to incentivize you. So I do think it's an interesting business model, but it's been done before. I think Cash App had something like that. Chime does as well. I don't think it's particularly going to do much. I mean, you know, they are a fintech platform, but I, I don't necessarily that we think that's the best way to, to, to kind of get back here. I mean, with us here, they're talking about direct deposit. You know, I wish he was really talking about the, uh, the the 401k stuff in my question. He did he did address it during the earnings call, and he's talking about how big of a deal it is. And other people asked questions about that, and they did answer it. But he, he did not necessarily answer it in my question, Vlad. So the next time, I'd really like for you to talk about those investments. I know you've mentioned it a bunch of times during the call, but it would have been nice to uh, to see that. And while we're talking about this, the earnings report was actually quite poor. There was a 43% decline in revenue. There was a there was a continued decline in monthly active users. I can't blame this all on Vlad. They make their money 
through payment for order flow. And payment for order flow volume is always gonna be highest when the market is doing well. When you're, in, when you're in a bear market like this, people are just making less transactions. People are less confident in the market. They're more likely to also take money out of the market in general and put it into uh, and to put it into other avenues. Sorry about that. But yeah, they put it into other avenues and stuff like that. So I understand Vlad's point here. Um, you know, that the answer is fine. You know, I, I, I like it. You know, I think it was good that he really, I'm just, I'm just in shock that my question was answered. That, that's really my perspective here. But I do think he could have done a little bit of a better job. But in the end, you know, I'll continue to ask questions, guys. If ever get any more answers from these guys, I'll let you know uh, in the future. Because I always try to get, I, really, I always try to get good questions going quickly and stuff like that. But overall, the earnings report was was not the best, like I said. But they answered my questions, so you know what? I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna give them a pass. So, Mr. Vlad, if you ever watch this video, which I don't think you ever will, but, you know, I respect you for taking the time to answer my question during the earnings call. I know it wasn't easy for you to break the news at 43% decline, but hey, you know, you never know. But overall, guys, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video. I hope this is worth a subscription because this is pretty big, guys, and I got you an exclusive scoop that you may not see anywhere else. So make sure you guys like, comment, subscribe, favorite, put on the notification bell, turn off the ad block, all that stuff really helps me, guys. And if you want to support the channel even more, you can always become a member. You'll get the uncut uh, version of this video. So before we make cuts and stuff, you get the uncut version, which can be painful at times, but hey, maybe if you want to support me, you can do that. I know there's a super thanks feature now too, which I just in uh, enabled in my account. So there's plenty of ways to do this. I'm also gonna have a link down below to the official Robin Hood t-shirt on Amazon if you want to buy that. That's another thing you can do to support me. Overall, I really hope you guys enjoyed that video and thank you and bye.